the flu it is a cesspool of flu, a cesspool of funky flu at the ER right now. This nurse from Pensacola spells it all out, taking to YouTube to voice her concerns. Please don't bring your team in. Please don't bring your healthy children, especially your newborn babies into the emergency room. The worries about the flu continue to grow as the number of deaths rise. 39 children account for flu-related deaths this season. Hospitals in New Jersey are taking note. Hackensack Meridian Health Hospitals are reportedly not allowing visitors under the age of 12. In Georgia, hospitals are taking things even further, setting up special tent-like quarantine areas for new flu patients, a tactic typically reserved for disasters like hurricanes. Here in New York, hospitals like Mount Sinai I say they aren't restricting visitors yet, but have seen an average of 20 extra flu cases into their emergency rooms each day. This all comes as new numbers show the vaccine isn't quite as effective as hoped. A Canadian study shows only a 17% effectiveness rate. Numbers from the CDC are expected in the next few weeks. Bottom line, we need a better vaccine. We need a universal vaccine. Regardless of how ineffective it is, experts say some protection from the vaccine is better than nothing. It can decrease the severity of the symptoms, can decrease your risk of complications, and it can also protect you against the other strains, influenza B and H1N1. Mount Sinai tells us for very sick patients, they do have a special flu test that is administered with a nasal swab. It can give doctors results within an hour. Reporting live from the Upper West Side, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News. Okay, Valerie, thank you.